Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second part of my big makeup haul that I've been putting off filming. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to be unboxing the past two months. It's the bags. So you know I have the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. Um, so this is from December and January. Um, I, If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I'm currently snowed in. Um, I hate the snow but it's okay. It's whatever. Um, and so I have taken this time that has been gifted to me to catch up on some things such as filming these videos. So <laughs> without further ado, I will get started. We will start with the December glam bag. Um, so I'm sure you guys saw these, um, because I'm a little late. But this is the December Glam Bag. It's very fuzzy um, and cute, and I like the colors. Um, so we'll show you what we've got in it. Got this really pretty green makeup brush. Um, it's a powder brush, super pretty. I like to collect pretty makeup brushes. Um, eventually I'm gonna put them on display. Um, so I'm really excited about these. Um, I like the green a lot. Green's one of my favorite colors. Um, next we have a Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Um, it is by It Cosmetics. I have never tried any of their pressed powder. I normally, I have not liked a lot of their products. So I'm very curious about this. Um, I tend to like powdered products over liquid products when it comes to certain brands because sometimes they have bad things in them. Um, but this one looks like it's not too bad. So we'll try it and see. I do not venture into powders a whole lot, like pressed powders and stuff. I use certain things to set my face that are not necessarily meant to set your face. Um, so I actually, it's funny. I use the Too Faced Coco Contour Palette and there's a really light shade that I use to set my concealer. You know, you got to use what works for you. So whatever, that's what works for me. Um, next we have a really pretty lip gloss. It's kind of like a corally color, but it's very shimmery. Um, the brand is Glozing Glossing by Laura Makeup Labs. And I'm not sure. The shade is Mystic. If you guys can see that. It is, it is spelled M-Y-Z-Z-T-I-C. Mystic. Okay. <laughs> um, then we got an Enzymatic Exfoliating Cleanser by Feel. These, I stay away from exfoliating things a lot of the times because I have dry skin. I have very sensitive skin. I'm eczema prone. And so this scares me a little, but all the ingredients sound pretty okay for the most part. So I will see about this one day, maybe when I like am okay with breaking out, um, I'll try it. Um, but then again, maybe not. Um, I'm looking at this though, and this container is not very full at all. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like there's, this is where the product is. I can just like see it in the back just by how the light is reflecting through it. So that's kind of interesting. And then this is one of the items that I picked um, because you guys know I have like wavy and curly hair um, naturally. So this is a uh, Salon Hair Simplified Use Me Hair for Wave and Curl Rich Defining Cream to Enhance All Natural Textures. So I think it is like a leave-in conditioner type thing. So you're supposed to put it on towel dried hair, apply mid strand to ends. So that kind of gives me the impression that it's like a texturizing thing to help anti-frizz as well as detangle. It has aloe vera in it. Um, it's perfect for any texture. So yeah, this sounds pretty good. I'm excited to try it. I always like to try new things on my hair um, because you just never know when you'll find something good. So. That is the December Glam Bag. Not a whole lot to it. Um, this one I was less excited for because it was just like, meh, 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 you know? But it is what it is. So we got it, it's here, whatever. 
I'm more excited about the December Glam Bag Plus, which is next. But first, I'll show you guys this fun little add-on that I got. So obviously, I have my acrylics on, and so I have not been doing my own nails, but I got these fun nail stickers. So these have like snakes and s no, they're not strawberries, they're hearts and roses and cherries and letters. And then these, this is like a uh, set of two that has little eyes, like rose gold moons and stars. Super cute. So when I do have to do my own nails, these are fun and I'm excited to try them out. Um, and then it came with several nail polishes. So let's see what we got going here. I think some of them are very similar shades, like a couple are like light pinks, which I kind of like bright colors. Okay, so this is like a light cream beige. Not sure how much use I'm gonna get out of that color to be honest with you, but whatever, we'll try it. That is Nature's Cartel and the shade is Tactful Denial. Interesting name. Then this one is Bros Gold. <laughs> uh, interesting name. Okay, I really like that color. I don't know why though. I have not opened these and they're already like separated. And I'm not sure if that's a bad sign or not. But it seems like it might not be a good sign. These are supposed to be like 10 free. So they're free from like 10 different bad things. Um, so we'll see about that. And then this one is a context brand and the color is slow down cute if i can get it open it would be even cuter okay so this is like a mauve shade or a nude which is fine it's not my favorite but i could see where i would definitely use it at a point um so yeah, that was just like a fun little add-on that I bought. Um, if they have add-ons on sale, I do tend to usually buy them um, just because. Um, so yeah, put that back in the bag so I don't lose it. Okay, so this Glam Bag Plus is the softest thing I think I have ever touched ever. I absolutely love it. It's so soft. Um, don't know what I will do with it, but it's cute. It's cute. So... First things first, we got this super cute nail polish from Smith & Colt. I love blue for the winter. Reminds me of snow. So it's like this powder blue, kind of a light, almost Tiffany's blue. Um, I really like this brand too. I think it's fun. So I'll probably maybe use this on my toes soon. Uh, it is called Bitter Cashmere Daydream. So yeah super cute I was excited this was one of the products I picked in the glam bag plus for December then we got oh I got some add-ons in this one too so this is the sugar mad as hell crown lipstick in Stephanie Plum you guys know I love these I think they're one of my favorite things um, they just go on so nicely. They stay on. They dry down well. They're great. I love these. So anytime I come across these, I buy them. Then another thing, I think I picked this as well. I got an Anastasia liquid lipstick. Oh no, this is an add-on too. And it came in a set. This one is called Crush. Just kind of a nice nude pink. Hopefully it looks good on me. Sometimes these colors don't look good on me. We'll just see. Um, where's the other part of the set? Okay, so this one is also the other part of the set and it is called Poet. I love Anastasia. I think it's a great brand. This one's also a nude, a darker color though. So this one will definitely look somewhat okay on me. <laughs> so I don't think I've tried many of her liquid lipsticks though. Um, so I'm really curious about that and I think it's going to be really good because everything else I've tried from them has been super good. So, um, this, I think I did pick this and it was because it was like one of the only things I really liked. Um, it is an Ofra lip gloss. Normally I'm not huge into brown, but this is a pretty color. So we'll try it out and just see. Um, it is called, the shade is called Truffle. 
I do like Ofra's highlighters and a lot of their other stuff too. So they're a good brand. I'm excited about this. Next, we have a Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. I have another one of these. I have swatched it, but I have not worn it. But this one, so the other one I have is like kind of a white. This one, oh my gosh, I love this color. Is like a bright pink, almost lilac kind of shift. I absolutely love this. And what is the shade? The shade is called Cupid. So cute. I love Ciante London too. It's such a good brand. I also like like European based makeup because there are a lot of bad ingredients that they are not allowed to use. And so American based, they do not have the regulations that like Great Britain and England and all of them have in place for cosmetics. And so, you know, a lot of American companies get away with using cheaper product. And so I like using things that I know are good. So you just have to be so careful with what you're putting on your face. It can become very, very dangerous. Um, there are a couple documentaries I've actually watched about it, especially like with bunk makeup products. So definitely like do your research before you buy things. Don't buy products I think off of Amazon or just be very careful what you buy because you can really cause yourself some damage. Um, and it's just not worth it. It's just makeup, you know? Okay, so back, back to my, to my box here. We have another one of the Sugar Mad as Hell Crown lipsticks in Viola. And I think I have worn this one while making a video before. This is actually my second one in this shade because I just love them so much. They're so good. My nose is so itchy. I wear a mask and then my nose gets really itchy. <laughs> and then... This is a uh, complex culture fill full out brow gel. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but I went through like a thing where I lost a lot of my brows and they've just like finally grown back. Um, I was having a skin condition issue. And so it took a really long time for my eyebrows to come back. And so I'm very careful with what I put on them now just because it is so hard to heal that skin underneath if it's breaking out. Um, so, I am really picky about this, but I think this, it's a good color. It's like a light brown. Um, I like all the ingredients. I have not tried a whole lot of complex culture stuff, but I've gotten a couple like lipsticks and stuff recently. So they are a newer brand to me. Um, and I'm excited about this. You know, I'm, I get excited about brow products until they don't work for me. Then I'm bummed. But, um, this is something that I think I will use hopefully. Finally, the thing that I was the most excited for as if I need any more palettes because I don't, I was going to pick this for myself. But Ipsy actually picks it, picked it for me. So I didn't even have to pick it. Um, it is Fireside by IBY Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. And I think this is just stunning. I will open it up for you guys if I can get it open. Uh, I like their eyeshadows. Um, they're cruelty free. They're vegan. You know, all that good stuff. I mean, honestly, if you're buying makeup that's not cruelty-free, what's the point? There's so many cruelty-free brands out there. Like, you, there's no need to buy anything that's not cruelty-free. I said it, and I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette. I'm absolutely in love with the colors, though. The color store is just so pretty. It has so many pretty shimmers and mattes. I just, I love it. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I know this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I am just stoked. I can't wait to use it. I think it's such a cozy palette. So that being said, that does it for my Glam Bag December haul there. And so we'll get right into January. January, I did like most things that I got. Um, I was pretty excited about them. I'm more excited for February, not gonna lie. Um, February should be coming soon as it is, we're almost 
almost to Valentine's Day now. So I've just been real behind, guys, like <laughs> real behind. It's okay, I work like four jobs. <laughs> so, you know, gotta feed the addiction, gotta feed the addiction. So January's glam bag was like this clear thing and it says, I don't know if you can see, it says dream and it smells, it smells good. Um, it's definitely maybe waterproof, hopefully, we'll see. Um, it's a non-porous material, so I like that. Um, I just think it's really cute. I like the colors. So, let's see what we got. Okay. So, this is a Cake Beauty um, Heavy Cream. Uh, it's like a totally to die for, intensely smoothing body butter balm. Rich vanilla shea butter, deeply nourishing. I really love their hand cream that comes in like a citrus smell scent it's like in a pink thing um I've definitely showed it on here before it's one of my favorites um but this is like a body butter but I probably will also use it as a hand cream too it's supposed to smell like kind of vanilla-y I don't know if I've opened this yet to smell it but I think I'm going to oh maybe I have yes oh yeah it's like so warm and so vanilla um definitely lives up to the cake cake beauty brand name um so yeah i like cake beauty i think they're great next we have a youth to the people facial oil i love youth to the people um sometimes it's a little too expensive for me um just at this point in time uh, hopefully it won't be someday but um so i love that kale superfood um, spinach or whatever cleanser that they have. I use it whenever my face is getting really oily, um, which around my like time of the month, I break out really bad with zits. I'm having some issues with it right now. Um, and so that is like a lifesaver for me because it doesn't strip my face too bad, but it gets away the oil that is causing me to have so much acne. So um, that being said, I really like this brand. This is, let's see. It is a super berry hydrate and glow oil. So there she is. This is a deluxe sample and it's got like the dropper and everything. I'm really curious to try this. I just, everything seems so clean. Um, if you watch Skincare by Hiram, um, he loves you to the people and I do too. So I, I just, I trust that brand. It's, it's nice to have brands that you can really trust with the ingredients and with your skin because some of them just are trying to make money and they're giving you cheap product. So I've been on such a rant about ingredients. I always am though. Please just check the ingredients. Like it's not that hard. Okay, so let's see here. I think there's, yes, aha. There's a brush in here. This is one of my glittery brushes. I love these, I like to collect them. I think they're so cute. Um, so this one's like a blue one, um, kind of a thicker, it's really soft. I just never can bring myself to actually use them though um, because I don't wanna get makeup on them. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> so maybe someday when I have a vanity, I will display those on my vanity and it will be so cute. But until then, here we are. So I got a Jules Smith Beauty I think this is a lip oil or a lip gloss. I'm not really sure, but it is called Bling Berry and it's kind of in this like really pretty plum color. So I'm super excited about that. It smells good too. Yeah, um, I have a liquid lipstick by Jules Smith and it's really good. I like this brand. Um, I think it's a smaller brand actually. I don't know a whole lot about them. So. The formula from the liquid lipstick that I've tried was really good, so I have high hopes for this for sure. So we will see. And then I got another face gentle enzyme face cleanser, Naked Papaya. Um, I'm careful about face cleansers because sometimes they can take too much away. So this is a daily non-foaming cream cleanser that purifies, hydrates, and softens skins without stripping. So it might be okay. Um, with a smoothie-like texture, it feels like the tropical vacation you deserve. Hmm. So I'm curious about it. I don't really like think about papaya ever. I think it's a fruit, right? <laughs> that sounds dumb. 
but oh okay so that and this are two different things so packaging is definitely misleading but that's okay it's all right okay it does have a seal on it come on maybe i can not get the seal off i smashed my thumb at work and now everything hurts <laughs> so okay I really can't get this off and this is embarrassing. So I'm just, I'm just not gonna right now. <laughs> I'll get back with you on that. Um, I don't know how that's gonna smell, but we'll see. I'm kind of scared to use it honestly, but who knows, it might be fine. I am just not one to use things like that because I'm scared of hurting my skin. My skin is very sensitive and I don't want to cause it harm. Okay, so then moving on to Glam Bag Plus, I got some add-ons. As you can see, it is a very full bag, which is very exciting. So I love Perlis. If you haven't noticed, I specifically love most of the blue Lotus line. There's a couple things I don't love, but that's okay. Um, so this is the Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Um, so I'm always looking for a different moisturizer because I have dry skin. Um, I love this cleanser. I use this cleanser whenever I am not breaking out um, because it leaves the oils. Um, if I am breaking out, I use the Youth to the People one. I use two different ones. Um, so yeah, this one is great. Um, so I'm curious to try the moisturizer that goes with it. Um, right now, my go-to moisturizer has actually been the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer, the gel one, um, and the Origins Gel Moisturizer. Um, and it's like the orange one. It's really good. Um, but this one I'm really excited to try since I like the face wash that goes with it so much. Then, as one of the add-ons, I got the Raw Sugar Hand Sanitizer. Um, since we are all dealing with a pandemic, uh, you can't ever have enough hand cleansing things. Um, but I have a really hard time finding hand sanitizer that is not going to dry out my hands and also doesn't have an ingredient in it that I'm allergic to. So um, this one doesn't. It seems pretty clean and it smells phenomenal. It's watermelon an aloe and it smells like watermelon um so i'm super excited about this it is vegan so that's great um and i got a couple different raw sugar material um add-ons in this bag so i'll show you all of those because i am very excited about them um let's see this is the other raw sugar yeah, this is a hand cream. It's the Super Berry hand cream. It's restoring and protecting. Like I said, I have such dry skin. So I need hand cream so much. Um, so I'm always, anytime Itsy has one, I add it on because usually they're cheap and I get to try a bunch and just see what works. So that's awesome. Then I did have, oh well, we'll come across it. This was another add-on. It's a Farrah Beauty Blender. Um, I like Farrah's stuff but I needed a new blend beauty blender and they are pricey. So, you know, I could have this $3 one that was like pretty good quality rather than buying one on Amazon. That's probably not as good. So I think these are definitely a you get what you pay for type thing. And so, you know, ordering an add-on of a good brand from Issy is probably better than buying a cheapy one. I don't know though. Um, then, okay, so... I don't know why they keep sending me facial cleansers. It's fine. Um, this is a Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. So I believe it's exfoliating, which is cool. Um, and I do like most of the ingredients in it. It seems pretty good. Um, and I do like the coffee cleanse thing. I think that is cool too. Um, I think it's a good way to exfoliate naturally rather than putting some sort of nasty beads or, you know, sugar or anything that's going to be really hard on you. I think coffee is a little bit more um, soft on your skin. I work with coffee a lot. <laughs> so does my fiance. So we're around coffee a lot. Um, so the smell of coffee doesn't necessarily appeal to me a whole lot anymore, but we'll see. So I'm not really sure what the brand is on this because I don't know. <laughs> But um, I'm excited to try it. I'm sure it does smell good, but I don't know if I'm going to embarrass myself by trying to peel the seal off again. Yeah. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
it didn't smell how I expected it to smell. It almost smells like kind of minty. I don't know about that. Don't know about that, friends. But if anything, I'll give it to my fiance and he can use it. Um, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, next. Okay. This is one of the things I picked. It's called High IQ Eye Gel Contour. Um, made with cannabis, sativa, seed oil, and bioflavonoids. So here's the packaging. Obviously, it's like, you know, got some CBD or um, cannabis sativa seed oil in it. Um, it smells pretty good too. Um, and so this is a full size um, and it's just like an eye gel and I'm really curious about this. Um, it's supposed to help make you look a little bit more awake. So I'm excited about this product, honestly. Like I normally don't get excited about things like this, but I'm excited about this one. So I can't wait to try it out um, and see what it what it does for me, if it does anything, um, which I'm sure will. We'll see, let's see what it says. Say hi to beautiful skin. Hi is much more than cannabis sativa seed oil. Hi is expertly formulated to deliver cannabis sativa seed oil in combination with certified organic plant oils, high potency antioxidants, and pure plant essential oils for healthy, beautiful skin. Um, so you're supposed to like, just like put it like right here and around your eyelids. So we will see how that goes. So cool. And the packaging is just like so cute. I like it a lot. Okay. So then we got Ofra. I've, I've got a lot of Ofra products recently. Um, but you guys know I do like Ofra. And this is a liquid eyeshadow just like those e.l.f. ones I had. Um, if you watched my previous video, we do love that. Ofra Bossy Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Penthouse. Um, also, I'd just like to point out the packaging is beautiful. <laughs> I love lilac. It's my favorite color, so I love it. <laughs> um, and I like that. So I'm excited to try that out. Okay, here's my last raw sugar beauty thing. It is a lip balm. Their packaging is so interesting. Um, not that it's bad. It's good. It's just interesting. Like this is a, this is a fat lip balm. <laughs> so this is in pineapple, maki, berry, and coconut, which I always think of like chapstick as like a mint or a cherry or something. So this is fun. I like, like these flavors. So, and this is, this is it. It smells really good. Everything Raw Beauty has that I've gotten smells really good. So I'm excited about this. Let's see here. Another context or complex culture thing. It's a power pose lip gloss. I think I got this in a previous bag as well, but it's not the same thing. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not the same thing. It's um, the other thing I got was like a lip oil, but this is a really pretty lip gloss. Look how gorgeous that is. That is beautiful and I'm excited about it. I love that. That's gonna be such a pretty topper on like a liquid lip or something. When we're not wearing masks someday, it will be beautiful. But since we're wearing masks, it's hard to wear lip gloss. Okay, so I just got a couple more things. So this is a palette that Ipsy picked for me. It's actually not something that I would have picked for myself and it's not something I'm so sure that I'm gonna keep as I have friends that might get more use out of it than I. Um, it is Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. And okay, so the names of the shades are women's names. How do I open you? Which is very interesting. Okay, so I'm sorry, the mirror is, won't fold down. It's like a lot of like mattes and it's pretty, but it's just not my, my thing necessarily so I will probably be passing this along to someone else um but it is it is cool so I, it does weird me out that the shade names are like Amanda, Kinsley, Hannah, Hillary, Mila, Courtney, Gigi, and Tenley so it's named after like white women <laughs> I don't know it's just not my thing um thanks but 
good try good try i have too many eyeshadow palettes as it is i'm not gonna keep one i'm not gonna use so whatever um then the last thing i have inside I, did i show you guys this bag i don't think i did so this is the glam bag plus that also says dream um it is not necessarily waterproof like the other one but so I got another one of these sparkly brushes to go with my collection. This one's an angled one. Super pretty. Goes with my blue one that I got. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a little long. We had a lot to cover. Um, if you want to see anything or hear what I think about anything after I try it all out, I would be happy to do that for you. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.